Right, we're up here with the Avata 2. Mike's going to fly it for the first time. Hello. He's never flown FPV before, although he has used goggles. So this is going to be first, and he certainly hasn't used a motion controller. So um, hopefully we're going to get through this video. We're going to search in for a new Avatar somewhere. Without further ado, we'll start. Press the orange button. Now, if you've moved the joystick up, go up, go up, clear. Alright, third one, go up, go up, go up, go up. Press the orange button. That's it, press that. Alright. That'll now hold where it is. Okay. How do I go forward? All right. Press your own button then. Press the trigger. Just move the controller up. Get up a white, a white. Wherever that dot is, that's where the drone is going to go. Get my back. So the white circle is going up. Let's see the forward. Turn to, try and turn it to your left. Turn to your right. For a right handed person, for some reason, it's always unnatural to turn right. It's more natural to turn left. You find that using sticks. Left handed people, but the other way around, I don't know. That's it. Now you fly into the wind. Just try going around in circles. <clears throat> Are you feeding sick yet? No. <laughs> no, I've just done a circle. Right, you're getting lower and lower. About this way, let's watch the twins. Yeah. This is awesome. You like it? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Are the goggles comfortable? Yeah. <clears throat> they just, <clears throat> just need to practice doing that. So you get used to it, then you can start incorporating the joystick. Now. That wind is what? It's so high wind. Yeah, it only feels like eight miles an hour. It's very powerful. Yeah. I mean, with my advisor, the, the original advisor, that would be tilting quite a lot. It's got the aerodynamics of a brick, but that might seem to be holding out much better. So yeah, you're right, it's a, it's a lot quieter than the Avata 1. How much battery power have you got left? Seven, uh, that's 51. I can't even see in there, I can't get over the edge. 
<coughs> Transmission signal all right, not losing anything. That's so full. Yeah. We we're in pretty flat ground here. It's um there's there's no obstacles. So you wouldn't expect to lose signal. Yeah. That's some sport mode, isn't it? Yeah. Flip it out. That's amazing. That's awesome, isn't it? <laughs> huh? Well, somebody walk in there. You meant to be my spotter. Well, I can't see anyone walking. And there's somebody by the goalpost. Right, you're supposed to be. Freaking awesome. Feels about the same as the Avata one. It's the tight the turns are tighter. Certainly much tighter. Sure there's nobody by the goalposts. Well down here? Yeah. Yeah, that turns really tight, really. It's only hell. <laughs> People down by the skate park, isn't it? By the way, skate park. Mm. Just gonna, we're in front of a brick building, so I'm just gonna go behind it. See if I lose any signal. They are directly behind the building that we are. I haven't lost any signal at all. No, that's good. And so overall, I'd say it does fly better than the first of art, and I'm still happy with, with the original one. Um, motion controller. I love the motion controller anyway. This one's quite a bit smaller, so it takes a bit of getting used to, but the thumb, the, the um, thumb stick, whatever you want to call it, is in a better position being on the left, whereas in the MC2, it was on the right. Um, and personally, I don't actually like goggles three. I much prefer the goggles two, so they fit nicer on my face. It all depends on the shape of your head, I guess. Um, but personal preferences, I prefer the goggles too. Um, apart from that, we'll do a lot more tests and we'll compare the Avata 2 with the original Avata once the wind drops a bit and uh, see what kind of results we get. So watch this space. Thank you very much.